Welcome to the Baseball Polynesia Podcast. My name is Rob Penny, and I'm excited for you with this episode because my really good friend, Duke Solaita, is going to share about his story growing up on the island of American Samoa. But what's interesting is I don't know how many people realized that he was on his way to a Division I NC2A college, but decided to go all the way cross country to the Midwest and play baseball there. It's a pretty neat story, but Duke is, he's a funny guy and you'll enjoy every bit of this interview. So I hope that you are motivated, energized by Duke Solaita. Here you go. Hello? Tully, what's up, Wolves? Can you hear me, man? Yep, yep. I can hear you. Cool. Yeah, you're pretty clear, too. How's it going, dude? Good, man. Everything is good. Nothing new. <laughs> Same old. Just work and yeah. family. That's, that's, that's the, the, the name of the game nowadays. <laughs> Brooklyn is big now. Oh, gosh. Kids are growing too fast. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. It, it seems like yesterday that we were all on the baseball field in American Samoa, and then fast forward, it's like now we all have like 15 kids each or something crazy yeah. like that. Fast forward, <laughs> and now we're on the couch with the kids, you know, like freaking <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to get them ready for, for school the next day. So Yeah. So, hey, man, um, I know I messaged you about what I w- wanted to do and basically just uh, story time, you know, um, kind of reliving your experience in baseball. The whole idea is to uh, tell the stories of different Polynesian baseball players, uh, no matter what level they ended up playing at. Because um, I think to help grow that community in Polynesia uh, in terms of baseball, it's going to require, um, you know, uh, awareness, but also motivation. And I think people are right. motivated by people, you know. Right, right. So this is yeah, going to so... be uh, your, your, your bedtime story. I'm, I'm going to tell you a bedtime story for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So if you're okay with it, man, we'll just kind of go through each stage Um well, and it'll just be casual, you know, whatever you end, end up sharing or want to share or reminisce, uh, okay. it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, Sounds good. Let's, let's, let's do it. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, so you, Duke Salaita, are a left-handed outfielder slash pitcher that can hit the snot out the ball, but also can can run faster than the ball, too. <laughs> <laughs> um Growing up, you were a little younger than the older guys when uh, your uncle, Tony, was, um, you know, running the program and doing the, the all-star teams and all that stuff. How old were you when, when Tony was um, just kind of getting things uh, started? Oh, man. I was young, Usman. Um, to be honest with you, when, when, when Uncle Tony um, and the family moved back to Samoa and, and, and got baseball, um up and running um out there in Samoa with um, with Uncle Ben um I to be honest like I I didn't even play any baseball at all when they first started um all my other cousins you know like Baki and Sal and, and everybody else Ula and those guys they they all started um playing baseball um when Uncle Tony and them was out there but I never played baseball uh, I never started playing baseball until um, I don't know if, if anybody knows about it, but then I never played baseball until Uncle Tony passed away. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, crazy. So I I never got to um, go to the field with him and and, and Uncle Ben and, and all my my other cousins back then. You know, um, I just stayed home and and I don't know. <laughs> you know it, it was crazy because like I, I always wanted to, but then it just you know. It just didn't happen until um, Uncle Tony passed away in 91, I believe. Yeah, 91, um, because that was the same year that um, my youngest brother was born, um, Tony. Mm. So, 
he was named after my um, my uncle Tony. So, mm-hmm. And then shortly after Uncle Tony passed away, that's when you know I I told my dad and I was like, you know what, let me just go out there with, with the boys and and let's see where where this takes me. You know, I just wanna I want to be a part of it now and 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 I want to see if if I can if I can do it. And that's when my dad. Said, How old are you? I didn't start playing until um, I was like eleven, twelve years old, like something like that. Wow. I, I started I started really late. Yeah, yeah. I I I don't think I I played ball until yeah, like ninety one. So I, like like ten between 20, ten, eleven, twelve years old, some somewhere around there is when I when I actually started picking up a baseball and and um, um Uncle Ben got me in and 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 he he he's the one who um who who started it all for me, you know. So mm-hmm. um, and then from there it just took off from there. What was your first? Uh, who was your first coach, and what team was it, were you? Did you play on? My first coach was Peter Misilang. <laughs> yeah, was, the, the infamous <laughs> Peter Misilangi was my first ever coach. So <laughs> he um, he coached, and, and I think oh, I don't remember my first team. Um, I think it, it might have been either Southwest Marine or Samoa Packing or something like that. Mm, uh-huh. um, yeah, so I started off. Um, I think I only played in Little League for like one or two years, and then after that, I think it went straight to maybe Senior League or something like that back then. Yeah, it was like Little League and then Senior League. All right. Um, but yeah, Peter 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 Bisilangi was was my first um, was my first coach. It's crazy. Wow. Um, what what kind of memories do you have? Well, fast forward just a little. After you played um, in little league and then senior league, uh, so bridging the gap between senior league and uh, high school. What what kind of memories do you have of just you and your friends playing and? goofing around or staying and working uh, or maybe was that during the Ray time uh, or a little bit before what kind of what, what's the most like memorable moment during that time uh, that age age bracket the senior league high school ish I guess senior yeah, league we'll um, do the senior league yeah um, there's there's a lot, you know, but then I, I think what stands out the most is, is definitely when um, Ray Brown um moved to Samoa and and helped us you know and just help um American Samoa baseball just with the development of uh, of the game out there and and he was a um a huge part of of success that we had back then you know when baseball was was huge in Samoa you know back then it, mm-hmm. it, it was basically baseball before even football everybody wanted to play right. baseball uh you know because, <laughs> yeah. of, the, because of the foundation that 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 Uncle Tony started with Uncle Ben, you know, and then um, when when Uncle Tony passed on, you know, and, and Uncle Ben um, continued it, and and you know with the help of others, and and, and especially with um, with Ray Brown. Um, so a lot of my um, memories, you know, definitely um, evolved around uh, Ray Brown when he came down and and, and started, um, and that's when I really, really, definitely started to 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 um engage in in baseball and and really um committed myself to 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 honing my my craft you know and just be um just be a student of the game as well from from Ray and and, and Uncle Ben so <clears throat> it was and it was you played great. football right yes yes man it, it it was it was crazy though man because football was a um was also a passion of mine back home, you know, I, I mm. love so much, you know, and just as much as I love um, baseball, you know, but, you know, it, it was really hard um, for, for, for me to, because Uncle Ben did not, did not want me to, 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 to play football, you know? So when I played football, I, I had to hide the fact that I, I was <laughs> going to practice, you know, and then I had games <laughs> on Friday nights and, and stuff. So it, it was, it, it was crazy. Um, but yes, I, I did play, play football, you know, um, before I got into, 
um, high school, you know, I was, um, I remember um, Coach Farmer, I think it was for Merritt. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I remember him um, always trying to recruit me that year to, 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 to play for Maris because, you know, Sale was still there. Um, some of my cousins and, and some, some of the good ball players, you know, like Ted Gebauer and, and, and those guys were, were, were still at, my, at Maris. So he was, was really trying to get me to, to come to Maris, but, um, you know, I, I, I really didn't see myself in a Maris uniform, you know, going to school there. Like <laughs> I, 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 I always envisioned myself going to school with, 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 with my, with my other cousins that, that I'm close in age with, you know, with Sao, mm. you know, those guys, yeah. um, and, and Smurf and, 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 um, and then also playing ball, you know, with, with Ronald, Ronald Piau. So, um, mm-hmm. that's the age group that I kind of grew up in and we kind of played baseball together. So when, when I got to high school, that's how I made my decision, you know, to, to, to stick close to home and, 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 and and play my my high school years in in um in in Botec closer to um with Sao and them so because you know it, it was like Sally and them were, were already getting ready to graduate you know when I got to high school yeah you know and, and those guys were man they were running the show um in, in high school back then um in Maris so you know they were, I think I think they wanted every single year when they were out there. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, so and then when when we got to high school, you know, it, it was like a, a different um, um, kind of generation now that got into high school, you know, because when we got into high school, I didn't play varsity my first year in high school. I, I played JV. Um, and that's when both baseball took off, you know, when, when, when we got there and it was Sao and it was us and Rubino and it was like the last year of um, mm. um, Mark Allen. It's, yeah, Mark Allen. Do you remember? Do you still remember Mark? Oh Allen? yeah, yeah. I didn't know he went to Votech. Yes. Yep. Yep. So he was in his last year with my brother Ben, that played. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Wow, you guys had a squad. Yeah. Yeah. It was, we had a squad. We had a squad. So, but then I didn't play. I didn't play my my um, varsity my my first year there. You know, I I played JV and and um and I believe Mary still took it that that year which was my first year in high school. But then every year after that, you know, I think the, the, the powerhouse in baseball kind of shifted towards, <laughs> towards, yeah. towards, towards our school because now we were, um, you know, like the, 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 the Tulas and, and Isaiah Hunkins, you know, from Leonge, like all that generation and Chris and, and those guys who, yeah. you know, it was always Leonge and, and, and Maris was always battling it out back then. And then when we got there, you know, we, we kind of, um, took over baseball um, from there, you know, with with um, with all the boys that that we played together with. So, but it, it was it, it was fun, man. And at the same time, that that's definitely when um, Ray was was he- heavily involved in 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 everything that was going on back there, and then back then in, in Samoa. So he he's been he he's been a, a, a I I can say like a, a definitely a, a father figure, you know, for for, for me, um, growing up and and just um, what he taught me, oh us, you know, like uh, about baseball, yeah. you know, just um, it, it it's always you know, it's always good to 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 have someone from out here, you know, and the experience and 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 what he went through in baseball, you know, being a professional baseball. Right. baseball himself you know come out there and 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 what he taught us out there you know just being disciplined you know the attention to details and you know accountability and, and all that stuff you know so all that stuff that that ray was able to to, to bring with him out there definitely helped um us out there you know and 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 it was a it was a blessing you know so and i'm glad that um uh, um he was able to to, to, to make his way out to Samoa and, and be involved in, in, in baseball with them. Yeah. So, so Maris kind of dominated for a few years, um, and th- those are the older guys, uh, Ted, Sally, and then you guys came up, Votech, after. Um, those are two different high schools, two different 
types of culture, like, you know, culture, team culture, and even schools, yeah. like, very, very different. Yeah. Um, how do you think you guys were able to overtake them and just dominate in your years? Um, I don't know. You know, um, it, it's, it, it, it's really hard to, to actually, you know, like, um, say that, you know, oh, we were just better because, like, it, it's true. Like, you know, um, I, I think that, you know, if, if there was a lot um, more better players, you know, that, that were, like, in, like, my age group that, that were also going to, to Maris, and I, I think it would have been, like, a, a better competition, you know, overall. Um, mm. But I, 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 I think the – I think, you know, the, the, the age group that I was at, you know, growing up, you know, there was only like a selected few, you know, um, that mm. were, were really into baseball because at that time now, now, now football is starting to pick up, you know, so football right. is starting to pick up steam and, and then people, and, you know, kids are, are, now, are now starting to, 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 to either play baseball or play football, you know, so, um, but that's pretty much, you know, like cause our national team was just made up of like a bunch of Maris players, I think it was, you know, uh. Maris and, and the only players, and then you know, just a select few, you know, from Samoana, like you and 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 others from Fungu, I think it was only a couple, but right. yeah. So it, and and you know, it, it helped, you know, that. that that everybody else that was playing on the national team or was involved in baseball growing up uh, went to both at the same time I was going to as well. So that kind of. Right. Yeah. So. Right. And, um, and then you ended up going and baseball was your ticket off the Island, which was great. And when you were a senior, what, um, what kind of thoughts did you have as you were preparing to graduate? And um, did you think about, Oh, you know, what what does the future hold, or were you kind of like you knew the direction you were going when you started no, became a senior? I, my 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 senior year, um, I man, there there are still a lot of questions. You know, like I didn't know um, where I was going. You know, because of the, the exposure that we have. You know, we we didn't, yeah. we didn't have that exposure back home. You know, like. Where, where we can get scouts to come out and see or, or high school, you know, or, or college um, coaches, you know. Um, so I was, you know, up in the air, you know, and, and, and that's why, like, you know, I, I really contemplated um, playing football, you know, like giving up baseball and, 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 and going mm. to play football. Yeah, because I, I had a lot of my um, my classmates um, and also other players from other school um you know, we wanted to, to, to continue playing football out here in California. Um, so I didn't make up my mind until last minute, you know, when, when Coach Burbage came out, um, Hank Burbage came out and, um, and you know, from, from there, and it was just all history from there, you know, I decided to, mm. to, to continue to play baseball. Um, and, and gave up football um, at that point. And, and it was in 99 when I think we had the South Pacific Games in Guam. I think it was 99 um, when we had the South Pacific Games in Guam and Coach yeah. uh, Burbridge and, and, and everyone was out there for it. Um, and we were training for, for South Pacific Games, and I didn't, grad, I, I didn't even walk um, uh, for my graduation. You know, I Oh I, wow. Yeah, yeah. I I was out in Guam when we had our graduation back in South Mexico. <laughs> I didn't even get to walk. Um, um in, in high school, so um which was fine with me, you know, because baseball was my passion and, and I knew that that's what I wanted to to, to, to do and, and that's where I wanted to be, you know, was was be with the the, the, the rest of the, the players out there in Guam and try to represent um our, yeah. Um, as we yeah. Know, so, walk kind of walk me through um, uh, how how the whole thing happened with with ending up in a uh, uh, college. Did did Coach Berbers kind of pull you aside, or 
uh, I'm sure those guys already had had conversations, you know, Ben and, and coach and everybody else and saying, okay, this, you know, this would be a good option for this kid. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that's what happened, but how did it happen for you? Um, I remember having a conversation with Murphy Sua because Murphy was also out there. Yeah. Um, so it, it was, you know, it, it, everything was was still like up in the air. Like I didn't know. Like Murphy was out there. Um, um, Coach Burbridge was out there. But then you know, um, and, and and Uncle Ben was talking to, to to Coach Burbridge and letting him know about you know me and 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 um, because you guys have already. You know, you guys are already in Spring Arbor. You know, it was like yeah. you pretty yeah. much paved the way for, for, for all of us. You know, when, when, when Coach Burbage first came out and and saw you and recruited you out in Australia, I believe it was. And then from, from there, yeah. man, like, he couldn't get enough of it and kept coming back <laughs> to, to Samoa and picking up all the players, man. He, he ended up picking <laughs> Baseball players and the girls, like Violina and <laughs> oh, right, Viola right, and, yep. and, and Tina. I was like, man, he's picking up everybody. He's not even recruiting only baseball players. He's recruiting the whole island to go out there. So, um, I I had the conversation. With, I remember having a conversation with Murphy, and and, and you no, know, uh, I was you know talking to him about you know my my options and, and trying to get advice from him and and what I should do and what what would be the best route for me. And, and he he also mentioned, you know, to how about, you know, trying to go to BYU, um, BYU, uh, Utah, mm. uh, out there, you know, for the baseball program out there because they, they had a good baseball program out there. So he was going to try and, and um, you know, get some um, some people out there to, 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 to look at me and, and see if they would take me in. And, and But I, I think ultimately I, I decided to um, – to go um, with with, with um, Hank Burbage, you know, um, Coach Coach Burbage, and 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 he just asked me and say, hey, do you do you want to? And I remember <laughs> him too. He, he he was being honest, and, and it was short and simple. And he said, hey, you know, would you like to come and play for us? You know, uh, I would love to, love to have you, and and I think you you'll be a great asset to to, to Spring Arbor baseball. And, and <laughs> from there, you know, I was sold, and and, and it was a. To be honest, it was a really easy decision for me to, to to accept the offer because you know you guys were already there. So you know, me being um, a kid from the island, you know, I, I definitely needed someone that I knew, you know, to to help yeah. me as I was making that that transition, you know, from 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 high school to college. So it, it was really easy. And then with, you know, Sally also you know, convinced me and said, you know, I, I think this will work out for you. This will be great. And I'll also have conversations with you and Stan and Ron and, and Ted. And <laughs> from there, you know, and then that was it, man. We we, we went out there and we, we 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 did our thing out there in Spring Arbor and it was great, man. It was, it, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was. Um, what was your personal experience like uh, when you got to Michigan and uh, the competition and and how your game, um, how did you feel like you matured and progressed in your your uh, skill level when you went from high school to college? Yeah, um, you know because the the only the only um, experience that we had, you know, to 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 get exposure and 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 to to actually compete was when we came out for our our, our trips. You know, like when we make trips out. Or when we had the South Pacific Games, um, you know, like a, uh, I remember our '98 trip. You know, '98 when we came out here to California, we were in Oceanside, um, and I think we yeah. also, uh, made a trip to, to I think, oh gosh, I, I don't remember. But then, yeah, I remember our trip in '98, in and then we we met some ball players out here, um, and then got to play and, and compete. So that's when I really, you know, like kind of compared like our skills and our talent to, to, to the kids out here, you know, and and, and that's when I, I really kind of like looked at myself and then be like, man, can, can I really compete with these guys? You know, like, is, 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 is this something that I'm really ready for? And, and, and I was really scared about it, you know, so because 
like back home, mm-hmm. we just compete with each other. You know, we we know each other's weaknesses and, yeah. and and strengths. You know, because we go up against each other every single day. You know, like <laughs> yeah, know, I'm I'm being serious. Like every single day, like on Sundays, you know, we go to church after Kauai and we take off with with Ray and, and Uncle Ben to to the field, and you know, we, we're hitting over there for 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 hours. You know, so. Yeah, we see we see the same players every single day, and 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 we know um, what they like and what they don't like, and and how they they play the game. So, but then to 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 transition into the uh, the the college life, and and then I come out here and I go out to to Michigan, and then the first thing in my mind is like, man, you know, like I'm I'm kind of kind of nervous, I'm scared that you know, like. What if I come out here and I look at these guys and I'm like, okay, man, this is definitely not for me. These guys are too much. <laughs> you know, so it was crazy. But then, surprisingly, Oos, man, well, when I got out there and and I looked at it and myself and and I just like, man, you know what? Like, I can do this, man. Like, I I, yeah. I can really hang with these guys. You know, like, yeah, I'm, yep. I'm good, man. Like, 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 I'm, I'm I, I think I can do it, man. So. And then you know from 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 there, and we just started working ourselves in um, into um, spring arbor baseball, and 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 you know I, I got to put in the the work that I did, and 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 they were able, Coach Burbage was able to see it, and, and was able to get some 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 playing time. Um, so the the competition was was good, you know, and and, and but I felt like you know I um, I was able to fit right in, and and. Without missing yeah. a beat, and without missing a beat at all, so it was good competition. Yeah, I think um, that's that's really in, uh, interesting because I think um, the way people saw you uh, from teammates to coaches is uh, a lot of them feared you because you were like no nonsense, just run into the wall kind of <laughs> player um, you, you, with that football background. So for you to to mention that you were had some a little bit of insecurity. Uh, that that's pretty eye opening. Um, but it says yeah. a lot about your character, and you didn't let that you know kind of dictate yeah. your uh, your 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 approach. So okay, right. yeah, because yeah, so, it was it was it was man, and, and, and like you said, like I, I I was pretty reckless, man. Like freaking like playing the game. Yep. Like <laughs> all, all I knew how to do was just like you know full speed. You know, like like, like yeah. no nonsense. Like oh. I'll run into a wall, run into my own teammate to catch the ball or something. You know, and, and it's crazy because it, it, it's it, it kind of backfired on me in my freshman year because that's how I got injured and you know I redshirted. I yeah. ended up redshirting my, my my freshman year um, because of injuries, and and that's when you know I I really started to to to, to really understand the game of baseball. You know, um, with the um, with, with Hank Burbage there and with you guys um, there to, to, to help guide me and, 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 you know, just, just teaching the game. And, and, and so um, I redshirted my, my freshman year. And then from, from there, you know, every, every year after that, you know, I, I, I split time with, um, with Ronald uh, out in the outfield. Um, mm-hmm. And then shortly after that, you know, I was just a full-time starter out there, you know, Running around in center field, you know, <laughs> catching balls and freaking trying to get hits and, and get on base and the whole the whole craziness out there. But it it was fun, man. It it, it was definitely fun. It was good competition and and I loved every minute of it. And you played. You were there for the transition from Coach Burbridge to uh, Sam Riegelman, right? Yes, yes, I was. Um, I, I played for, um, uh, for Riggleman, Sam Riggleman, uh, my last year, my last yeah. year was, um, was Riggleman's first year as, um, as a head coach out there in Spring Arbor. Um, so I, I played ball out there and, but, you know, it, it just, it, it was different, you know, um, playing for, for coach, don't get me, he, he, he uh, coach Riggleman was great. He, he was really good. And, you know, just trying to um, make that transition from seeing Coach Burbage every single day, you know, um, yeah, and um, having to um, to to make the change, and, and Sam R- Riggleman um, took over um, from there. 
So, uh, yeah, I was yeah. ready for, for, for Sam Riggleman for one year, which is my last year. And I think because um, uh, Sam Riggleman was coached by Coach Burbridge, and then he went right. on and did his thing. and <laughs> So he knew yeah. the system. Um, but one thing that I, I think uh, you were able to thrive in is uh, uh, Sam liked to run. He, he he was definitely somebody that liked to run. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, you hold the record. You hold multiple records uh, at the university. Um, you did several, like, all whack, all conference. Uh, but you have the record for most runs. And I don't know if stolen bases, uh, but I, I definitely know, like, on base and um, the most runs. Uh, so from the different coaches that you had, uh, what would you say was the thing, what, what happened when it clicked for you that last year, like from all the things that you learned and you just brought it all together, what do you think was uh, contributed to that? I think it was just a, 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 it was like a, a, you know, it, it wasn't necessarily just, um, coach Burbage at that time or Sam Riggleman at that time, but the, I think it was just you know, from the beginning, you know, all the way up until yeah. my last year in college, you know, everything that went on in between, you know, like um, um, everybody that has played a huge role um, in my life within that time, you know, uh, aside from, from, from my parents, you know, it, it, it all started from, like I said, you know, with Uncle Tony and then, and then Uncle Ben, their teachings, you know, to Ray Brown and, and and definitely, you know, uh, Murphy Sua has has also played a, a huge role um, in my life. You know, because in in college, um, every off season or summer, um, I would always come back to California. You know, so uh-huh. um, I would always come back to California, and I would link up with Murphy, and and, and Murphy would would would. would um, would help me out here, you know, with baseball stuff out here with traveling and, and, and playing baseball mm-hmm. out here. So that, you know, kind of put all of that together. And then when it came to, to my last couple of years um, in college, you know, I, I kind of put all of that together and, and, and just, mm. um, you know, try to, to, to master my, my craft, you know, at, at everything, you know, just, just the little details, you know, uh, on how I can, um, take advantage of, of, of my competition. Um, you know, so, it, and, and it's been, it's been great, man. So, you know, with the teachings of, of the coaches that, that I was fortunate and blessed to, um, to have, um, coached me throughout the years, um, definitely helped me, um, get to where, I um I was at my senior year, but yeah, you know I I it was good. You know, I I don't know how many of those records are still up there. That would be, <laughs> yeah. that would be very interesting to to go back to to to, to the record books and then see where where I stand where I stand. But you know there there was quite a few there. Um, um, yeah. You know, when 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 I finally um, um finished up um. My, my my playing career in, in Spring Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> what one memory that I have? Uh, my last year, <laughs> your first year, we went to uh, Siena Heights. Um, they were a conference rival. Um, we won the first game, and um, and you're a freshman. You're a freshman. It was early in the season. Uh, second game was close, really close, and I think it was the sixth inning or the fifth inning. Uh, coach brought you in because somebody was hurt, and then you played right field, and uh, it was either uh, I don't know if it was too sunny or something, but there was a, a ball that came your way. Um, it was hard to see, so you weren't able to get it. Uh, and then the run scored, and they led, and then you ran in, and you were like super frustrated. <laughs> You're so, and, you know, we're like, hey, don't worry, don't worry. Um, yeah. And then you came up top of the seventh and then you smashed the home run uh that actually won the game for us and yeah. the reason why i remember that is because the guy that was pitching matt pike ended up um he was one of the best pitchers in the league that year and he ended up nice. playing i don't know 10 12 years yeah. pro ball um yeah. and he was the, the the one that was throwing 90 miles an hour freshman guy goes up boom goes yards wins the game for us but what happened <laughs> what i remember is we went to eat, and then we went um, – as soon as we got home, 
we went into the, de- uh, the, the clubhouse to change, and we're like, where's Duke? Duke's out there, and you're running laps, and you're <laughs> super frustrated at yourself. And the coach is like, uh, he just won the game for us. What is he doing? We're like, oh, just leave him. <laughs> Let him run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That was, um, I, 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 I freaking still remember that day. You know? and, <laughs> yeah. And, well, one of the, the the biggest lessons that, that that I got from that 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 game was after the game and, and Coach Burbage, you know, um, pulled me to the side and and said, you know, it, it, you you cannot let you know um, what happened um, affect you throughout the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. You know, you you gotta have yeah. short term memory, man. Like you, because this is yeah. what happens. You, know, you can. You can you can make an error out there, but the very next inning, you know, look, look what you did, you know, yeah, you, you you won the game for us, and you know, and I I definitely remember that 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 moment. And <laughs> it, it was definitely one of, <laughs> but yeah, and that's that's the stubborn me right there. Yeah, yeah. you just yeah. won the game. I don't care. <laughs> was, oh man, we had great memories. Such a good time in that. I think that defined um, you as a player is no nonsense, you know, don't take personal. And, and it didn't look like you did, but even even though you might have internalized it, you did it so that you can get better and work at and, and just kind of, right. um, yeah, go harder. But I think a lot of people, when they that's why a lot of people enjoyed watching you play because it's like nothing phases this kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, Boy, that was good. It was fun. And was you like, ended up um, getting married to a softball player. So no. that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's uh, baseball has definitely taken me a long way, bro, because <laughs> if it wasn't for baseball, I don't know. I, I think I'd still be in softball, man, like somewhere out there. You know? <laughs> but but baseball was definitely my ticket out here, and, and it has – um, um, definitely be a, uh, been a blessing for me. Um, um, I'm, you know, fortunate enough to come out here and play baseball, and and was able to um, um, have a family. You know, after that, mm-hmm. you know, so I, I, I was mm-hmm. still out there um, playing ball. Um, when when um, when I was in a, re- a relationship, and um, it was it was mm-hmm. it was it was tough. It was a long distance relationship, you know, and and but. We had our ups and downs, and and but you know we we stuck through it, and and I'm, I'm grateful for it, and, and and definitely blessed to to be where I'm at right now. Um, so it, it's 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 been good, man. It's been a good ride so far. Yeah, that's that's awesome. To when you think about it, the island is such a tiny island in the entire map. It's like the size of a salt, you know, mm-hmm. or pepper. It's so tiny. <laughs> Um, and but that's where we came from. Like we we literally grew up on this little rock, and look at where we're at now we, with a family and right. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, and all thanks to baseball. It, like it just it yeah man, amazes me sometimes. Yeah, it does. Those man, like like you know sometimes you know I just sit back and just reflect back and like man, like where would I be without baseball? You know, like like right. This, this sport like you know what what um what uncle tony and and everybody back home has started and and what we stuck to and and committed our 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 lives to for for a long period Mm -hmm. of time you know has has definitely um paid off you know so you know definitely maybe not in the way that that we um dreamed and 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 hoped to you know to to be playing Mm -hmm. you know you know professional baseball but then you know you know god has his own plans man you know he's like mm-hmm. you know, baseball is definitely going to um to, to to help us you know in life and and you know making yeah. decisions in, in life and, and it's also gonna you know, take us to, to to places and and we're gonna experience things that that you know we definitely didn't think that we were ever going to um experience so but it's it's been great, man, and I just my hope and pray is that you know back home in Samoa that the the, the, the sport um, itself, you know, that that we continue to um, 
um, to keep this sport up, you know, and then up and going yeah. and get everybody out there, you know, to, to be aware of, of what's going on and, and, you know, just to, just to share our stories with, with them. And, and so yep. that way, you know, the next generation uh, of, of Polynesian baseball players that, that come up, you know, that they can be um, inspired or, you know, however they want to take it and, and, and just be able to um, continue this, the, the, the baseball um, legacy back home in Samoa. So, yeah, it opens up uh, a, a wide um, landscape of opportunity, not just opportunities for us, but um, you've got some lifelong friends now from college that, yeah. Um, yeah, you'll go to the grave with because th- those relationships were a part of the experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it was, it's all part of the, the experience that, you know, I have college um, um, teammates that, you know, to, to this day that I still keep in contact with. A um, um, great friend of mine, you know, that um, um, is very dear to me, you know, Matt and his family, Matt Stouter and his family mm-hmm. that just came out um, to visit mm-hmm. us. You know, it, it's crazy how, how baseball um, um, works his his magic because you know like you, you yep. get we, we we have these people that are great people in life you know that 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 we come across and 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 that doesn't happen very often and when it does you know you, you definitely want to make sure you um you cherish those moments and, and those people and then the relationship and and continue yeah. to build it. so it's it's always always great to to, to to see good friends and 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 families and get to hang out with their families you know and and just the relationship that we have, you know, um, from back yeah. home until this day, you know, we're still um, keeping in contact with each other. Maybe not as much as, as we would like and, and not as much as, as before, <laughs> but, you know, it's every time we, we, we get to hear each other's voice, it's like, oh, man, what's up? We remember back then, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, and you freaking... <laughs> Back then, we're in Straight Harbor, man, which are we, 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 we our Bilo dance, you know, like we, we, we were doing these. <laughs> do you remember when we used to do our dance back in, in Straight Harbor? And yeah. all, all those poor Palangis things, man, that uh, our dance was so good, man, but then, like, they had no idea, man. We'd be embarrassed if people in Samoa saw the way we danced in Straight Harbor. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's the culture, God. man. It's the culture. <laughs> yeah, man. It was like yeah, it's the culture, man. That, that's how we really dance. Man. Oh, like the <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. 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 We 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 straight <laughs> football, football, football <laughs> out there with, with, with our pepelo dances. Oh gosh, I think if there's <laughs> one thing that I'd want, um, you know, the younger generation, but also parents that have their kids, kind of uh, still playing is. Uh, not necessarily to shoot for the stars in terms of goals, um, but for them to be mindful and aware that the experiences and the relationships that you're going to make, uh, you will never, you, no one can take that away. You can't get fired from it, <laughs> you know. Right, right. Um, it, injury is not going to take it away. It's going to stay with you forever. And the joy, the happiness, the laughter, all that, no one can take that away. You can't retire right. from it. And right. if that's the message and that baseball can allow them to do that, uh, I think it'll, it'll definitely, you know, it'll be a, a great motivation. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It, it, that, that, that's definitely a win for us, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, but like you said, you know, not necessarily shoot for the star, but then like, you know, um, the, the, the relationship and, 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 and what you're able to build and learn and then the experience that you get out of um, being involved in, in baseball, um, playing baseball, or it can be any sport also, you, you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, just, just sports in general. And, and that, that, that definitely will, will, will take you a long ways, man. Like a lot of good life lessons that we can get. <laughs> oh man. And so oh, a lot man. of good memories, great memories, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, and I'm sure whoever ends up listening to this, they'll be able to hear it in our laughter that this stuff is deep, it's real, it's 
Yeah. You know, and we'll never it's forget it. And they can have man. the same. It's, yep. <laughs> it's, it's as raw as it gets, man. So oh. it's crazy. And, you know, now we have kids and, and, you know, like I'm over here, you know, getting my kids into, into sports as well, you know. And so it's definitely something that I'm, I'm, I'm definitely um, pushing to um, to continue, um, you know, just sports in general. You know, he can be playing yeah. baseball, but I'll also ask him, you want to play football? Go play football. You want to play something else? Go play soccer or something, you know. You, yeah. You go, go out there and, and, and just just enjoy um, um, your time out there and see, see where it takes you. So it, it's been great. Man. Yeah. Been great. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome, yeah. man. Um, and yeah, and this this is gonna be something that your kids will listen to, my kids will listen to, and <laughs> everybody else's kids will listen to. And that's the idea: is the more we can accumulate these stories, the more um, that passion is gonna live on. You know? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So. This is good. Awesome. So thank you, man. Uh, this has been. Uh, we're hitting our what? What, what is it? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Forty-five minute mark. Nice. Nice. Yeah, nice long yeah. form this is uh, conversation, nice. and this is just a piece of it. You know, I'm sure there's a lot right. more we can talk about. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's a lot more that we can talk about, man. But um, our our this is it for our our bedtime story for tonight. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, for tonight. <laughs> oh man, um, cool. Well, um, we'll have to get together, dude. One of these days. And uh, I'll definitely send this uh, this this over to you. But um, your story, yeah, I remember you when you were little, and then I'll, I'll never forget uh, college, and then after, and oh, here yeah. at Corinth, and oh man, so Lots that's of memories, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's awesome. Freaking, my memories of you, you know, starts all the way back from when I was in elementary, <laughs> Macafao and stuff, you know, and oh yeah, going to school dude. Macafao, yeah, and yeah man. Over there, and I was, Rick Flair, Rick that. Flair. Yeah, man. So and I remember that and you know, like looking at watching you play baseball and I was like, Man, this guy is a little freaking mouse running around the field, man. Like he got too much energy, man. Like you're yeah. never gonna duplicate that kind of energy, man. So it's been great, man. It starts from there, bro. You know. There's a, there's a lot of good memories. So definitely need to catch up and and Continue this um, this conversation over whatever memory yeah. that we didn't get to cover here, and you know, and just be able to see the again. family, the kids, and so. cool. All right, man. We we'll appreciate you. Oh, anytime. Say hi man. to the kids and Gina, and we'll touch base. Okay, bro. I will, man.